We have a new number one this week. We do. I mean, Toronto lost, so you got it. And so did yes. Buffalo. Yes. Which I think all accounts, I mean, look at the math. What, where's the math say, Travis? Uh, it says that the team in number three from last week, they won. The Rush going to take over the top spot. So in my number two, I actually have Halifax moving into number two. Virtue, they did beat the Bandits. Uh, Toronto does move down a few notches for me. I, I'm with you there as well. I, I think Halifax gets the win. They still have an eight and four record. Yeah. They're, they're right there toward the, the top of the division. Still a very good team. They, like everybody here, they're showing some peaks and valleys. And after that, who do we have next? Uh, I like Buffalo here in the third spot. I know you could also probably go with New England. Both are sitting there in a similar situation. I wasn't penalizing Buffalo too much for losing to a Halifax team that they've been neck and neck with all year. You see, uh, you sort of have to compare. So who was your other team at three that you were debating uh, with? You, I mean, I know you're debating with New England. Yes. I have Buffalo at three. You have Buffalo at three. I just feel like Buffalo at this point of the season, they've scored single-digit goals in three of their last four. The they offense still is don't a have Dean Smith. The offense is a concern. It feels like, to me, New England has a little bit more of momentum on but, their I side. I mean, at times, we've seen the offense be a gigantic concern for the Black Wolves. Not a gigantic. Concern. A couple weeks ago, we were, they were in a little like, stagnant. We were they in were stagnant for one reason panic or another. Black Wolves offense. So you want to put? I just Buffalo wanted to number three. I just wanted to drop him down a spot. That's not a bad loss. You're losing to Halifax, a team that's jumping up here to number two. I think that Buffalo without Dane Smith is not the third best team in the league. That's fair. That is. I, I, I do. Th I do. Ha it's, it seems to me like he's coming back sooner rather than later. That's my feel. Okay. That he's getting healthier? Yes. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see when he comes back. <laughs> um, at four, I know you do too. Toronto moving down a couple of spots uh, with that loss. See, the thing for me there is is that I had New England at three. So do you want to put uh, Toronto all the way down at five? I'll put Toronto at five, yes. Wow, okay. I will drop them that far. New England, Doug Jamison is leading the league in goals against average, leading the league in save percentage. When they don't have a great offense, he is the one that steps up, and he is the okay. one that helps them, giving them a backbone. They're not so dependent on that offense when they got Doug Jamison on the backside. Concern for me with Toronto, as you fill in the rest of these, the concern to me is you get Tom Schreiber back. I think that's a that's a big that's and then another they big lose. problem. That's a big problem like, because you're the, right. The continuity on this offense is going to change throughout the rest of the season as pieces start to get intertwined back together. That's a bit of an issue. It now is. it might they may be able to figure it out, but do they figure it out in time to make this all work? I mean, they did so well without those guys. Tom Schreiber, Adam Jones still isn't back. Dan Dawson came back this week too. But Rob Hellyer was playing really, really well and sort of was the anchor as well. Reed Reinhold had come in with some big, yeah, big moments. Big games. Dan Craig played as was playing really well before that too. And then Schreiber sort of getting back in the lineup after being out of it was was a little bit disjarring. We saw that a little bit with New England last year with yes. Callum Crawford coming back from the suspension. Agreed. So I'm thinking we're seeing the same thing in Toronto. I got them at five, keeping them at five. The That's good news for them is they've got time here down the stretch of the regular season to figure it out. I still think they're a playoff. Let's go team. back down to the bottom here, um, Calgary. They had a huge, huge win over Toronto in Toronto this yep. week. How high do you have them flying? We can put them at eight. Okay. Feel like eight works. I had them a seven. They're so still I will compromise. They're still at five hundred. You're sitting at five and five. That's yeah, a nice a scary win. Five hundred. Yeah, but they're still five hundred. Dane Doby, since he's been back in the lineup, twenty three points. Um, and but they haven't and then won all those. Twenty three points in four games total this year. Yeah. Excuse me. But they haven't won all the games since he's been back. They lost one of them. Yeah. They're two and one, I think. Yeah. So they so played three it's games. Good. It's good, but it's not like they're unbeatable. With I think as we see the year going on, they're going to okay. start rising That's higher fair. and higher here. So let's fill out the rest of these. Uh, okay. Georgia, do you have them at six or seven? I had, I the had wings? them at eight. Wow. So who's at nine for you? Uh, I've got Colorado down at nine. Okay, that's they didn't I, do I, much. I, I get on get on board with that. I, I thought Took I want to business. give Calgary a little bit more uh, credit okay, for, for their win. Because I think beating the top team to me had them moving up a little bit higher. And, and Georgia still hasn't impressed me lately, so I'm not sure what to make of them. Georgia feels like should be playing a lot better. Right now at the post point of the season, they are 7-5. and five. They only have a couple nice wins. Philly and New England are really the only teams they've beaten. Yeah. Everything else has been sort of blah. And, and then Philadelphia, you, you look at them, they had a up and down weekend. They they lose to the Black Wolves. They beat Georgia. Games to watch this weekend. New England at Buffalo and Calgary. Big games there. Ooh. Calgary plays Saskatchewan this weekend as well. So things are going to change. Up. Things are going to change. It's week to week. Power rankings are week to week.